G'day guys, welcome back. I just said to my phone, record, but not say it too loud, and it started recording. Because I've got this plastic cover over my phone and I try and push record and sometimes, like most times, it doesn't work and I'm there pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. I've got my little stylus pen as well and I push the button and it doesn't work and it's so frustrating and I thought, I wonder if I can just talk to it. <laughs> and it worked. Uh, uh, small things amuse small minds. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to go on with some clouds. Did you see these that I made the other day? My little cloudy pendants. They're so cute. Like, I'm really happy with them. But the only thing is, like, I don't think my placement of the clouds was very good. Like, when you look up at the sky, you don't see cloud space, cloud space, you know, and they're all separated like that. You get a clump of clouds, and then you get nothing, and then you get a clump over here. So I'm going to go again. I'm going to do coasters this time because I've done the pendants. You don't need to see those again. So, yeah, have another little go. I'm going to use my deep coaster mold because I think when you're putting in big things, not that it's huge, but it's got a bit of height to it if you don't break them up. So I'm using my deep coaster mold for this one. Um, and I've got this little silicone stick thing. I think it'll be really easy to poke them down and to pick them up because if you've got resin on your on the end of your little silicone stick, you can pick one up, put it in, pick one up, put it in. Now, inspiration for today is this gorgeous picture that I got from Google. Um, in my last video I said to you I wanted to do like on the background instead of just being plain blue like that I wanted to do a sunset color so I'm going to do after I've finished putting my clouds in uh, I'm going to do pinks and blues and maybe like a turquoise purple type thing on the background okay so that's my inspiration doggies what are you fighting for um, so these are my clouds here and um I, I don't know, have I already put the video up? Mm, I made a little video oops, on how to do these. I don't know whether it's at the beginning or whether it's now. But anyway, because I haven't edited it yet. But you can watch that. Um, also go back and look at my pendant on how I did these because I talk about the clays a lot more. Okay, I'm not going to go into it all again because I did that before. So I've got my resin. Um, I didn't make up a whole heap because I want to do like a few little layers maybe two two layers and then a layer of clear and also this particular resin the 360 plus it doesn't like being poured too deep it gets really really hot so there we go right let's begin shall we I have cleaned my mold with some tape I don't want to make this too deep as well because of, of the heat element, but also because I don't want them floating away because they're light. I figured they might just sort of want to float. So that's why I thought I'll just do a little bit of resin. You haven't gone to the edges yet, haven't you got as much as the others? So yeah, that's twofold. You know, I don't want it to get too hot and I don't want the clouds to float away <laughs> not just yet anyway okay that's done now I'll give that a bit of a torch oh, I don't like these ones with this little locky thing on the back I try not to burn my paper towel as I go by move out of the way I guess if you get a few bubbles, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be, you know, sky and clouds and things like that. So if you get a few bubbles, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, so um, basically, what am I going to do? I don't really want to spend time placing each one. I might just, well, just dump some in and see how they go. I think that'll give us more of a natural kind of a... A look that way we get bigger pieces and smaller pieces like so and then I can if I want a few more I can you know place them but 
Now, the, what I want to do is, oh, there's a hair. How did you get in there? Where'd it go? It's probably even one of mine. It must be a dog one. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do now is just with my little silicone stick, I think it's a little makeup brush, is just push them down. Like so. Hopefully it looks more realistic, these new clouds that I've made. I'll push those down and then see if I want to add any more or whether I'll leave them for the next layer. It's hard to know how many to put in. It, it really is. It's tricky. <laughs> kind of put a bigger one in. I don't know that I've got a lot of bigger ones. Oh, there they are. Let's see if that works with the, let's put some resin on that. See if I can pick one up. Oh, look at that. Woohoo, look at me go. <laughs> That's what I was hoping it would, would work. I just put a little bit of resin on it. And then I can pick them up, you see. Still not sure if it's going to look realistic, but I think it'll look more realistic than me just placing them. And they're a bit bigger too this time round. So I'll put it like a, a few little clumps together. Oops, I've just wiped that off. Why am I getting hairs in here? Take that big one. Oh, there's a clump. I don't mind a clump going in, hey? It's We're not going to know really how it looks until it's finished. But hopefully, hopefully it'll look more realistic. I put a few little clumps in. So I think I'll leave it like that because I do want to have, I want to have enough space that I can do like a second layer of cloud so that I get that sort of 3D kind of a look. So... I've got some more in here. I think these are smaller pieces though. Yeah, probably a little bit smaller. And then those were my other ones which I made a different a different way. They're slightly more sort of jagged and not as fluffy looking. But um, yeah, you can see that in my video. Oh, it's, it's in this video. <laughs> so there we go, I've got some left over. Um, so I'll use those up in my for my next layer and see if we can get more of a 3D look. So basically for now, that's all I'm going to do. Um, it's a pity I can't torch them now because they'll burn. <laughs> I should have finished torching for bubbles before I put them in. So anyway, there we go. I'll leave it at that. Hopefully it's more kind of realistic looking. But well, yeah, when I do my second layer, I'll put some more sort of overlapping so it looks as if it's more sort of clumpy like this. So you have like a big clump and then you have a bit of space. And you have a clump and then you have a bit of space. So that's that's kind of hopefully I can achieve that look. So I'll be back in a few hours. I've got to pop out and do my groceries and things like that. So I'll be back in a few hours and we'll do the next layer. So I wanted to show you the difference between, this is my second batch of clouds. My first batch you saw me make the other day in the video. Um, and I just sort of, with the clay that was still wet, I guess. Well, you can feel that there's some moisture in it. So when you pull it apart like this, it just kind of breaks. So, and I, but I, what I did with the one that I showed you the video of, um, and you saw me do it, I pushed it down like that. And I broke little pieces off. Like so. Um, with this one here, I'll, I'll get you a, give you a close up of it. That's it there. So what I did was I broke bigger pieces 
it's very light it feels like cotton wool it has well it has the texture of popcorn that's what it feels like but uh, these ones I made slightly bigger like there's one piece there because I thought clouds really need to be more of a longer sort of a shape <laughs> it's getting stuck to me um, yeah so instead of being little tiny rounds I thought which is what I did in my video the other day I, I thought they really need to be more sort of elongated and puffy looking so what I did was I really pushed my um, clay out like that on one side so it was really really thin and then I got my little toothpick and I just went like this just on the very edge like that and that's what I got you can see how it's got areas that are kind of hollow oops <laughs> rolled away so that's what I thought I'm looking for pieces like that which are more 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 fluffy hollow not as dense okay so that's what I did so you can see the line there I'll do it again just pushed it all the way along like that and then depending on whether you want a long cloud or a, a more of a rounded cloud you can bring it back up And there we go there's another one just like the other one and you can see it's got really good texture to it it's 3d it's well aerated so that's that one now while after I did this I had some of this clay left over and um, it was just sitting there next to me on the table next to where I was sitting watching TV and I thought, I wonder, I wonder what'll happen if I dry it out more. So I just kind of played with it like this and kneaded it because you can feel the moisture on your hands after you've done this. So anyway, after about an hour, because I was watching a movie, yeah, it would have been about an after an hour, it started to really break up. But like it wasn't compressing like this again. It was when I pushed it like that it would just kind of break apart and I thought oh that's interesting I'll let it dry out a little bit more and um and see what happens so once it once it got to this it got to the stage where it was like having this sort of texture right through like it wasn't staying in a ball like that it was just really breaking up and this is what I got here it's like that fake snow stuff Look at that. It feels much softer. It is fluffier. It's not as sort of jagged with the hard edges as the other one is that I just showed you. So look at that. Really happy with this one. It's really, really soft and fluffy and cloud-like. So I just had to wait for the moisture to come out of that um, clay um, and then I got that so that's the difference I mean these are still these are still quite workable but they're just not as fluffy let's see if we can see a comparison of the two I don't know if you can see it. it's probably not going to pick it up very well on on the camera but this one's just a little bit more jagged a little bit more sort of crunchy these ones are more fluffy so yep I can't really pick it up for you I'm doing my best so anyway I'm going to go with these I'm going to use these in the video today so stay tuned and um, that's what we'll use righto here we go back with the second layer I've made up a little bit more got some bigger pieces so what I want to try and do is get like longer pieces like that I probably should have done that in the first layer <laughs> like bigger longer pieces like proper clouds looking um, 
So if I was looking at it like from this way up, I can see there's a line there and a line there. So I'm going to try and make lines rather than just sporadically dropping them in. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to work on this one uh, and then I'll just stop the camera and uh, I'll probably do the others. That way I can just take my time, but I'll, I'll just do one for you so you can see what I'm doing. Made up the same amount of resin again, uh, 150 grams of A and, is it 150? I'll write it down. 150 grams of A and 65 grams of B. We'll just cover, spread that out to the edges. It's still tacky, but um, I want to get a second coat on it. I've got to work tomorrow, you guys. I won't be able to finish it tomorrow. So sad. I'm doing 10 till 6.30, but so by the time I get home, it's 7 o'clock and it's dark and it's cold and... I'm not going to want to come into the studio. I'll just sit with the dogs and under a nice cuddly blanket, stay warm. I don't know if I want to use any more of that. Um, probably will need a little bit more, actually. Just leave it for now. All right, let's torch. Probably going to have some bubbles along the edges um, but it's getting quite cool now my resins thickening up pretty fast with this cooler weather I don't like it I must say I think when I started resining it was almost a year ago I don't think it was winter I think this is my first winter resining so, um, yeah, it's a little bit difficult with the, the cool weather, trying to get your resin to stay nice and soft. All right, so here we go. You're a very big piece, aren't you? I'm just going to place it there. I'll come back and break them up later on. I'll not break them up, but push them down. Oh, that's a bit flat. Try to get some pieces that are nicely formed, like nice and puffy. So these definitely bigger pieces, these. So I'm just, like I said, trying to get them into, to go into like little lines. And they're not all going to be big pieces. There'll be some smaller ones in there as well, but... Just trying to get them to look as if they're more in lines, which is more of a natural look, isn't it? This one, they kind of, there's no sort of rhyme or reason to that one. I'll just go in the same, same direction, I think, as these with the lines. I'll make another one down here, another line down here. So we'll still get that 3D kind of look. And I don't want them exactly in a line. You can see the one underneath it, it's kind of spread out a little bit. And I'll leave a bit of a gap because, you know, they don't always have to go straight across, do they? Actually, you probably don't need to go straight across. Take you out. You're a bit big. <laughs> okay, so what are we thinking of this one here? I've got a line there, a line there, and a line there, but it's still got other pieces sort of around it. Mm, it's hard to know. I don't want to overdo it. It's tricky. I guess I won't know until it's done. Just going to put a few more pieces in these that have already been done. I'll come back and push those in. We'll do them all together. Oh, you're a big piece. Look at you. Look at you there. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what it looks like once they're, once they're done. So there's... Hmm. I hope I didn't burn that. It looks it's looking a little bit yellow there. Oh dear. I want to burnt my clay, you guys, with the torch. <laughs> Hopefully you won't see it once the colour goes on. Whoops, I dropped you. So here I'm going to try I not stick the tweezers in there. I just try and get them into the same lines and I can see what I'm doing, hey? Actually, let's just do this. It seems easier. Try and keep those lines. And just sort of overlap a little bit on some of them to give that sort of 3D look. I was going to fast forward, wasn't I? But I'm just, just going for it. Whoops, drop that in there. Same, <clears throat> try and do three lines of each. Well, there's a nice long one. Oh, don't drop in. Where did he go? Dropped him. Okay, you can stay then, since you're there already. It's a bit yellow over there as well. I must have burnt it. Must have. Dear, oh dear. I have to be careful of that, won't I? Now, I hope I'm not putting too much in. It's a bit hard to know. <clears throat> I'll stand over here and look across that way. Mm, you can just have like a little... No. Try not to overdo it. She says as she puts more in. <laughs> It's hard to know when to stop. This little bottom layer, you need some more. See, I've, I've gone for longer pieces this time. I probably should have done that the first time around, though, is put more of the longer pieces in. So just trying to get the more of a 3D look here by overlapping them. And some, like, in a clump, you know? Like a cumulo, a cumulus, cumulus cloud, and then there's the cumulo nimbus, isn't there? Which is the the rain cloud, and then those really thin, wispy ones are the cirrus clouds. A little lesson on clouds here. <laughs> I can't believe I burnt that. Mm, hope you won't be able to see it. What else do I need? Do I need any more? I need a picture of some clouds to refer to. That's what I need. Which would be good. I don't really know how much to put on now. Just trying to make those three lines. Hopefully the, I am making three lines and not... Um, hopefully you can see that they're three lines. That's the plan anyway. I should go and look at some clouds, some pictures of clouds uh, and just see.
is that looking like a clump so when you turn it over this is going to be the back obviously so you're going to see the other side a little bit more in there maybe oh it's so hard to know when to stop How's that looking? Let me come around and have a look at it from over here. Oh, I can't believe it's gone yellow in there. Actually, no, it probably won't matter because I'm going to be putting some yellow. I'm going to be putting some yellow um, colour over the top. I'm going to do a bit of yellow, a bit of pink, a bit of blue to make it look like a bit of a sunset. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to torch it. Don't torch your clay, you guys. Let's just go down and have a little look. We'll come, around, come around here and look at it from this side. This is what I was looking at over here. Oops, the ring light's in the way again. So I've kind of got one, two, three... One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three lines, sort of, a bit of floating. Oh, I wish you could answer me. I don't know if I should put any more in there or not. Hmm. I might go and study some photos of clouds and then come back to it. Um, and see but anyway either way um, next time I come back we'll put the the colors on okay in these sorts of tones so if you look at that that's my inspiration there see that they're, they're quite maybe I need to do that like put it like a big a big amount of clouds in one section there like overlapping see there as well they're, they're, they're overlapping they're quite thick there hmm all right I'll have to study it <laughs> it's harder than it looks you guys it really is all right I'll see you for the next layer anyway wish me luck right I am back I was going to go to bed because it's after 10 at night and I have to work tomorrow <laughs> but uh, I thought if I put this top coat on because this is set I'll be able to unmold in the morning before I go to work otherwise I've got nothing to put up tomorrow I've got nothing to show you tomorrow if I don't finish this so now these ones were really quite transparent and I don't want to do that again I'd rather have them a little bit more on the opaque side so I'm going, I've got my resin sitting here in some warm water because it's pretty chilly and I want it to thin out. So um, I'm going to go with some yellow, some pink, some blue. Um, I'm going to use paste this time instead of the ink. So I've got some yellow. Because it's not a little um, nozzle bottle like that, I've got it in here. So I'll just put a little bit in that. Yellow, a pink and a blue. These are by Amour. So let's get started. Just wipe the bottom of the cup. So it's a little bit thinner now. I made up 125 grams of A and 54 grams of B of my resin. Because there's Oh, it's probably only about three millimeters left in height that I can actually fill up so not a lot I'm gonna put a tiny little bit in this one um, no I don't mm, maybe I do I was thinking about putting a little bit of wispy white in but I don't think I need resin for that I think I just need pure paste for that one but we'll see um, I might as well use all this up. Actually, I'll do more blue. I'm probably not going to need all of this, but... 
Yeah, I didn't want to make up a little bit too less, you see, so I thought I'll just make it up. And um, if I don't need it, then that's fine. Right, oh, now I wonder how much we're going to need. Let's just try with put a little tiny drop on there. We'll just see, see what that does. I'm not sure like how opaque it's going to be with just that little bit. <laughs> okay, let's put a drop in. If I can get one out. One drop for you. Oh, it's so hard to squeeze. That's why I've ended up putting them in the nozzle bottles because these are really hard to get out. I'm probably going to have to do two drops of the pink because it's... Uh, unless I give it a really good squeeze and get a big drop. I'll leave it upside down, actually. I like that. I probably should have had them sitting upside down. Okay. Let's stir those up, see what those colours are going to do. Okay, the blue seems to be more opaque than the yellow. Actually, this blue has already got white in it, so that's probably why it is more opaque. We won't put any more in. Uh, the pink has also got white in it, so it should also be quite opaque. I'd actually put a drop of white into the yellow. That will change the opacity of it and make it a little bit heavier, a little bit more opaque. I actually didn't want them quite this opaque, but what are you going to do, hey? want them that opaque. I wanted them a little bit opaque. I guess the yellow threw me and I added more but the yellow one doesn't have any white in it so that's the difference. It's going to stay a little bit more transparent. Oh that's a shame. Kind of need to make it the same as the others now. Be all right. This looks very. Might be all right. It looks very concentrated, seeing as it's in there in the cup. Okay, I'll just add a tiny bit more yellow just to make it the same as the other two colours. Now the opacity all should be the same. Let's move those out of the way. Now, I don't know if I want the the white. See, I thought I was going to do it more of a transparent and then do wispy white through it, but um, that might not work. Okay. Oh, this is a bit nerve wracking. I'll pour some of that in there actually. Try and thin this blue out a bit. And I've got a little bit left in here as well, so I'll throw that in. I don't know if it's going to make much difference to change the opacity. Okay, now I need to give them another stir. So I won't use the white, I'll leave that for another day. Probably when I do more of a transparent background and then... I want to put white wisps through it. Wisps. It's a nice word. <laughs> okay. So I've turned the mould, as you can see, because the heart was facing down towards you. So I've turned it so I've got my lines going this way horizontally. So I'm going to do blue, 
pink yellow yep and probably a little bit more blue in them and see if I can blend I don't know that they're gonna blend because they're so they're not really transparent so I don't know that they're gonna blend but we'll see let's get started I might just do and I don't want just a, a straight line I want to kind of do this with it And then a little bit of the pink, a little bit more of the pink, like just there. And then a little bit of yellow. It sounds a little bit more opaque than what I was hoping for, eh? I wonder if they'll blend. I wonder if they will. I'll use another stick and see if I can get some blending going on. Push that up to the top. See, I didn't use very much at all, did I? So. We're getting a little bit of orange happening there in that blending there. I don't want to take the blue down too much. So I don't want to get like a green. So we'll just do that. I'll wipe that stick. Okay, next one. And a little bit of pink. I'll try and put it on top a little bit so it blends. I'm getting more adventurous. And some yellow, it can go on top of the pink. Are we still taping? <laughs> I did the voice command on it to start and it worked again, so, oh, yay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, where's my blending stick gone? Here you are. Start up here where it's light, and then I can start blending these colors a little bit. Don't mind if they don't blend too much. Yeah, just gotta be careful they're not to get the yellow into the the blue. But I'm really liking that little bit of orange there. That's really pretty. If I can get it to go into there as well, a little bit of orange, a little bit of sunset happening, hey? So I don't want like straight lines, that's all. I just wanted a little bit of blending going on. Maybe a little bit of purple up here. Okay, it's that one. Next, a little bit of pink, and some yellow. Actually, I better put the pink between that blue and the yellow so I don't get green. This is enough blue like to give me more of a sky, you know. And I didn't want to overdo the other colours because I want them to look like sky. A little bit upset that they're not so transparent, but hopefully they'll be okay. Let's blend that there. Get our orange going on. And then the pink and the blue. 
haven't got much pink in that one for some reason. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Do a blending like that. Once I'm done with them, I've got enough in. I'll put some more in and sort of do that, more of the blending of them. And then the pink. Whoops, make sure I separate that pink, that yellow and the blue. Keep forgetting to do that. A little bit of pink up here. This is where I start just blending my colours a little bit more. And just taking them up to the top of the, the moulds. Get in that orange. Okay, how's it looking so far? Need to blend this. Okay, now a little bit more yellow for you. Just going to finish off what I've got here. Like I said, take them up to the top. A little bit more pink. Pink, I guess the pink's getting lost more so because um, I'm blending it. So just have to maybe not blend it all so that we can still see some of the pink. Don't want it all to go orange. Probably left it a bit late. <laughs> All right, does it look kind of sunsetty to you? And a little bit more. There's a little bit of cloud poking through in a few areas, so I'll just fill the coaster up. These are going to be pretty thick coasters, 1.2 centimeters thick. Okay. Mm, that's the end of it. I think that's the last of it. All right, I am done. Now I can clean up and I can go to bed. <laughs> At least I'll have something to unmold in the morning. Hey, I wonder what it would look like if I put some white through it. Look at my mess that I've made. Do you think you'll actually see the white if I put some white through it? I don't know if you'll actually see it. I might try it just, just, for, the, just for fun's sake. So all I'm going to do, actually I should torch first. Tiny little bit of cloud popping up through there. Now let's just, actually let's just put a little blob down here. Just there. This is a little silicon mat that I've got. And I'm just going to take a little bit. I don't, I don't know whether you'd actually see it though. Like, 
like through onto the other side like I know you can see it here because this is the top but whether or not you'll actually be able to see it on the other side I don't know don't know oh geez it's spreading a lot better not mix that color put a little bit into the yellow yeah probably don't need that much to actually because it's spreading um i've seen other people that like let the resin set up a little bit um, and then put put it in but Leah, like i said i don't know if you're going to actually see it on the other side i might just put a little bit I'll use the the yellow stick as long as it's got yellow on it and then um, give it a wipe and go into one of the other colors okay I need a bit more I hope I haven't ruined it now I have these ideas I want to try things and I don't know whether or not they're gonna work all right, tiny little bit. Let's put you through the the blue there. Give it a wipe, a little bit more. Give it a wipe. Do you think you'd actually see it on the other side, or not? I have no idea. I have no idea if you'll be able to see it or not. I think the resin will just kind of move and swallow it up. Don't know. There's a lot here, though, on this one. Oops, I shouldn't mix my colours. All right. Um, let's see what happens. Shall see what happens. It's the only way I'm going to know, isn't it? Let's put some alcohol on that. Get that paste up. There we go. Nice and clean. All right, there we go. Let's give it one more torch. So if I had more time and I wasn't rushing off to bed, um, I might wait for the resin to set up and then use a toothpick and, and do my swirl with the white, just so I haven't got these like thick blobs. Oh, look what it's doing. I can see what it's doing something underneath. Oh gosh, I hope I haven't ruined it. Spread it out a bit. It's kind of doing this little thing, you know how that does with the 3D flower? When the white spreads. Uh, I don't know. I'll we'll just have to wait and see, I guess, what what it looks like. Hopefully I haven't ruined it. I just wish I could see the other side. Well, the clouds are going to be white on the other side. So they should stand out. Really, they should stand out because they're in layers of clear. So against this colourful background should look good. And then if we get a few little wispy... Like, I don't think you'll be able to see the white... That I've put in a lot because it's going to be camouflaged by the clouds I think oh, looks like I've put too much white in though 
<laughs> it's really spreading. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. You can see it in there spreading. Good to know for next time, hey? I'll take you down so you can have a little look. It just looks like a mess from up here, doesn't it? All right, let's go and have a little sneaky peek at what it looks like close up. And hopefully I haven't ruined it. Oh gosh, hang on. Let me just... Oh, I've got... <coughs> Took my glove off with my mouth. <laughs> Just the very edge. I didn't get resin on me. Don't worry. Look in there. See what it's doing? The white. I mean, it, it is wisping, which is what I wanted, but I think I just used way too much white. So a tiny little bit with a toothpick next time. But look, I'll do these again. You know me. I'll do them until I get them right. So hopefully you won't get sick of the clouds. But yeah, I think um, waiting until the resin sets up a little bit more and then just using a tiny bit on a toothpick because I think I think it's going to be a bit overpowering. Oh, never mind. hope it's going to be all right. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Never mind. We shall see how it's going to go. <laughs> Can't be any, bit, any worse than those, hey? <laughs> all right. Um, I'm off to bed. I'll see you in the morning for the unmolding. Cross your fingers for me that it works. All right, guys, I'm back. I had a really bad night's sleep. You know when you go to sleep straight after doing something that gets your mind racing and then you can't sleep? I lay there for like nearly two hours trying to get to sleep and I was thinking about what I was doing here and that I'd put too much white in and then my colours were too opaque and I was going over it and over it in my head and I couldn't sleep. <laughs> you know those nights, don't you? I'm sure you do. Anyway, let's get this done and then I have to go and jump in the shower and go to work so I really really hope that they've worked because I put so much time and effort into these you know so much love and attention sweat blood sweat and tears <laughs> not so much of the tears but <clears throat> all right so I'm going to flip them that way so that the blues on the top have... oh look there's little clouds in the bottom there this song is about clouds isn't there all right <clears throat> are you ready one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh, shut the front door. Isn't that gorgeous? I did it, you guys. I did it. I think I did it. What do you think? I've even got like a, a sort of like a flat bottom there for my cumulus clouds. Oh wow. Where's the white? Where's the white? Where's the white? Oh, there's there's a little bit there. A little bit there on the edges. I thought it was going to be really overtaking the whole thing. Oh, there's a little bit there. Oh, there's a bit there, a bit there. It's not as bad as I thought. It's actually probably blended more so than anything because it was kind of on the top. Oh, I love it. Wow. All right. Well, that worry for nothing. I won't put the white in next time. Like, it's not needed. Not required. Oh, phew. I'll be able to go to work now and relax. But I've done a good job. Okay, here we go. Oh, so pretty. Wow, that one's more that way. Oh, no, that one's that way. Oh, I don't know. I think I sort of put the, cloud, the blue more on an angle like that instead of keeping it in line with my clouds see a little bit of transparency is nice I think if I just put like a little bit of um, either paste or dye or whatever <clears throat> tint into my resin and just sort of blend it and then put some clear over the top to kind of blend it I think I might do that next time so pretty yeah I think I should have just kept my blue across the top. I was trying to be sort of more abstract and not have a straight line, so I went like that. But I think that's better, keeping it at the top. 
All these things I need to remember for next time. Do you want to see me do it again? See if I can improve. That one's got quite a lot more white in it. Look at that. Now what do we think of these little white wispy bits from the pigment paste? Do you think it adds to it or just doesn't need it? Maybe it distracts from it. It's a little bit there, a little bit there. It's kind of come in from the outside in, it's like resin does, so I don't know if it's worked as well as it could have. All right, here we go. Next one. Oh, wow, I really love that one too. I like how they've got a little, little bit of transparency through them, like you can see the light coming through. Like that, look at that, see the light from behind is just poking its way through. There's a little bit of transparency there. Oh, I love that. Oh, so pretty. What do you think of my clouds? Are they okay? So there's a little bit more of the white wispiness in there. So it's come from the outside in, so it's going that way instead of that way. <laughs> there's a little bit in there that's going in the right direction. I don't know. What do you think? Do you like it or do you think it would have been better just leaving it off? Please let me know down in the description so I know what to do next time. Whether I just leave them like this or whether I put the white in. It kind of looks like a little bit of snow on a mountain peak there, even though it's not a mountain peak. I guess it could be. Let go. Thank you. I'll come around this way again. I just went around the back of you so I didn't have to stretch over. All right. Lucky last. Here we go. Oh, so pretty again. <gasps> wow, I just really love that light coming in through the bottom there. Oh, it looks so much like a sunset. That's my horizon. Definitely better having the blue on the top. So you've got like half blue and then the other half is the other colours. Which I've tried to do. Now you can see that the clouds are really 3D because I've done the two layers. Probably not picking it up so much on the video, but I can see that they're really 3D. I don't know that it's going to pick up. Wow, love it. And again, there's some white. <laughs> there's more white. It's come down on an angle in. There's a little bit there. And from here, it's gone that way. I might even be able to try and like do some mountains like maybe put a bit of brown in and then the blue there's so many things you can do oh they're just so gorgeous which is your favorite have you got a favorite oh, i don't know see this one i really tried to keep my lines do you think that's worked better i'm asking you so many questions aren't i see that's the other one that i did my first one and um just random clouds I just sort of plonked them in giving them space around each one whereas these ones as you can see I've done like clusters you know try to keep clusters of them like especially here I did it like a big cluster there and then like little separated ones and then more of a big cluster here and then like there's little tiny sprinklings here and there Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so happy with them. So glad they worked out. Right, now that's me done. <laughs> Yay! I can go to work, a happy girl. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Now, I won't be edging them with anything. I think that'll just detract from them. Just leave them, leave them plain. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm so happy. Yay! <laughs> Little happy dance. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And um, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay, bye for now.